A bright and brilliant tribute for the victims of September 11th will be made possible by a Las Vegas company. Its employees specialize in lighting. News 13's Dave Malkoff has more complete coverage on what may become their most memorable project yet. He's here to explain. Yeah, Kathy, on March 11th, it will have been six months since the attacks. That's hard to believe, but there is also a new local connection as well. A local company called Light America is building two huge towers of light at the World Trade Center area on the 11th. Now, they chose Las Vegas because this is a city that knows its lights. When you move to Las Vegas, you're moving to a city with a built-in nightlight. By day, the Luxor sits silent until the maintenance crew arrives. Beyond the cushy inclinator sits four stories of steep ladders. Okay. At the ladder's end is something you may not expect. These are lamp housings here, and then this is the power supply. It's not one light, but 39 7,000 watt lamps. Now one of these lamps, you're probably looking at about $30,000. Bulbs aren't cheap either. Ah, oh, here we go. Inside each bulb, they create what amounts to man-made lightning. Okay, it's like any arc of electricity. So it'd be like lightning, it'd be like a uh, um, welder's arc, that sort of thing. Up one more ladder, you find yourself here. This is as high as you get in the pyramid, except for the window washer fellas that go outside. We'll get a little air in here. Talk about a little air. They jokingly call this the 36th floor, one of the most spectacular but rarely seen views thousands of feet above the Las Vegas Strip. This is where all those 39 lamps come together as one, creating the illusion of a single 273,000 watt flashlight. Because we're gathering all the light, focusing it in one pinpoint direction. It's exactly what this Las Vegas company, Light America, will do in New York for the six month anniversary. What we're trying to do in New York is gonna be twice as bright as what's over at the Luxor. Two towers of light, little bit of Las Vegas in the heart of ground zero. And those twin beams will light up on Monday night, the 11th. And just like the Luxor, there's a chance that they will be visible from outer space, a memorial that truly does reach the heavens. Sean and Kathy? I'm the reporter from that story you just watched. Since you're still here at the end of the video, you may want to subscribe. I've got more than 800 stories just like that for you to look over. In fact, YouTube is recommending this one to you right now. These are the documentaries I've done around the world. We're also on your smart TV. Look for these logos, the Weather Channel or Pattern.